In this video we're going to look at quality planning. Uh, you'll recall that quality planning was um, process 8.1, PMBOK process 8.1, plan quality management. So it's the process of identifying the, the project quality requirements, what do we need to do, and documenting how you're going to achieve it, how you're going to do the inspections, and how you're going to demonstrate that that work is actually being done. So the inputs are the work packages. So you should be doing this for each work package that have um, would compose part of the quality plan. Um, you've got the requirements documentation. So that would be for the construction project. It's really simple. It's whatever is in the contract document. In particular, the specifications and the um, and the drawings. Um, or if you're talking about a um, design project, a consultancy project, there would be industry codes, standards, uh, there would be the client brief, um, there would be other discussions with the client, stakeholder requirements as well. So those all come into requirements uh, for a consultancy contract. And then you've got your organisational process assets, the things that are going to help you to do it. So you you would have done this before, so there's previous project documentation, What did you, what was the quality plan before? last time you did it. So oftentimes you just grab the last quality plan you did and adapt it. Uh, your company will have templates and checklists that would sort of a quality templates and checklists. So have you checked this, have you checked that? So that's all part of the um, quality system. And you will also have, it will have its own quality systems, processes, who does what, who does the inspection of the road, when do they do it and that sort of stuff. So most organisations will have quite a substantial um, amount of documentation telling you how to do quality management for your particular project. Um, so what you do then is you take all that information there, you, you assess the quality requirements, analysis, um, you figure out the cost of quality, what sort of inspections do you need to do, and what you come out with is the project quality plan. So let's look at that in a little bit more detail. So um, for a construction project, um, most of the requirements are set out in the contract document. Obviously there's other things outside of it, such as consent requirements, um, client extra uh, requirements of the client, um, uh, consenting authority requirements, all that sort of business, which we talked about in the previous video. But there's uh, most of it is set out in the contract documents. So we've got this here. Um, these are um, this is just a pipeline, two pipelines side by side, and that's a, a power duct. So you can see that in the drawings we've got the um, the depth of the bedding below those pipelines, the space in between those pipelines, um, what sort of material is going to be used for those things. So in the drawing, in that that one drawing there, it's got quite a lot of checks that you need to do. You need to check that the, um, the bedding is 100 mils thick. You need to check that there's 300 millimetres between the, or minimum, between the pipes. Um, then in addition to that, you've got to check that you've got the right type of pipe. Is it the right, is that a 450 OD um, PE uh, water pipeline? Is that a 560? Is it the right diameter? Is it, um, and in the specifications, is it um, comply with NZS 4130? Um, using those types of uh, materials. So is it the right diameter? Is it the right materials? Is it in the right place? So that's looking at the survey. Is it at the, sp the right level? So once again you've got a survey there. Is the bedding material uh, the right bedding material? So that's once again in the specifications. So from the specifications and drawings you can pull out all these requirements, these project requirements for these particular pipeline, for that one work package which is laying these pipelines you can pull out, well, by the looks of things, about a dozen or so different um, requirements. It needs to be at the right level. It needs to have the right aggregate. It needs to be the right diameter pipe. It needs to be made out of the, the right materials. You need to be checking all those things, and you need to be documenting that you checked all those things. Uh, and what comes out of it is a construction quality plan. So you put that all into this table here. Now, for a bigger project, it'll be much more than this, but for our purposes, let's just stick with this table. So, you can see that the first one there is the item. Now, read um, uh, 
uh, WBS number work package so I normally like to have it as work packages so for each work package I'll have um, identifying it then I'll put the next work package on the following on from that so I just got a continuous list of those things um, by work package because that's the most best way of doing it and so what is to be checked the location of the pipe the invert level the bedding material the bedding depth all those things I talked about before trench width pipe separation so that's the check what do you need to check to make sure um, wh what is the the requirement that you're checking um, the method how are you going to actually do that shear vein for the backfill compaction and whatever um, when when you're going to do it so in this case we're going to do it every 20 meters of pipeline in this case here we're going to do a, the check the location before we lay the pipe um, in the pipe wells we're going to check the welder certificates before the welding starts we're going to do this we're going to do that and who's responsible so what's going to happen now is it's going to be a list so the project manager when we're doing the pipe laying can go along saying well what do I need to check okay I need to check that we're using a certified supplier okay check I need to check that this we're doing shear veins I need to carry out shear veins every 20 meters I need to check the welder certificates so what this is is a to-do list it's telling the project manager these are the things I need to do as part of this work package to ensure that we meet the project requirements for this particular work package now you could do the same thing for a consultancy project instead of um, open trench excavation it might be preliminary design and the checks might be um, does it meet the client requirements uh, the calculations correct uh, has the drawing been produced to the required standards so councils have a specific way they want drawings presented so a consultancy project can have exactly the same format um, um, to, to um, provide a quality plan so as I mentioned um, in the cons um, consultancies you use call it a quality plan but some construction companies will call it an inspection and testing plan an ITP so you need to be aware of both of those terminologies so the construction planning at our level is really quite simple but um, when you get into more complex projects or projects that where failure is much more serious such as a motorway or a nuclear power plant or something like that you'll find that the, the quality planning is much more intense it's much more expensive and it takes up much more resources but you need to do it because of the nature of the job